Fire is a laser-directed energy weapon, LDEW, which has been developed by a consortium led by MBDA in collaboration with the Ministry of Defense. Other companies involved in the project include Leonardo, Kinetic, Archie, BAE Systems, Marshall and GKN. The new UK sovereign capability is designed to provide short-range air defense and close-in protection for naval vessels. One of the major challenges in developing LDU is safely controlling and focusing high laser power onto an extremely precise point, at long range. Dragonfire's manufacturers said initial trials showed the system could successfully track air and sea targets with exceptionally high accuracy. In a statement, MBDA UK said the success of the first trials paved the way for the next phase that will deliver a first for UK industry. Chris Lam. The firm's managing director, said, the success of these trials is a key step in the development of sovereign laser-directed energy weapons. It is the culmination of a lot of hard work from both the industry and DSTL teams. It has overcome disruption due to COVID and technical challenges from the use of unique innovations in Dragon Fire that are testing the very limits of what is physically possible in the laser weapons domain. Dragonfire was first unveiled to the public in 2017 at the Defense and Security Equipment International Conference in London. A contract worth £30 million was subsequently awarded by the UK government's Defence Science and Technology Laboratory to the consortium led by MBDA. The British government has since invested more money in developing advanced advanced laser and radio frequency demonstrators as part of the novel weapons program, NWP. The Ministry of Defence claims these next-generation technologies, known collectively as Directed Energy Weapons DEW, could revolutionise the battlefield and reduce the risk of collateral damage. Last September the Ministry awarded three contracts worth around £72.5 million to UK industry to produce more of these weapons. Read. More. Impressive mine hunting Navy vessel HMS Corn glides into UK shipyard. The four-year contracts are expected to create at least 49 new jobs and sustain 249 jobs. Jeremy Quinn, a Minister for Defence at the time, said, We are investing £6.6 .6 billion in research and development across defence over the next four years, reaffirming our commitment to provide the armed forces with truly advanced capabilities.